What is going on, all you real people? Welcome back to the channel, guys. I know it's been a hot minute because I haven't really, really been doing much fishing here lately. Instead, I've been working on a neat little project. It's actually sitting here right behind me. It just got done today. And I really hope y'all are stoked for it. it. It involves like going out and doing more camping because that's what I want to do for this channel is I want to start doing way more camping, more outdoor stuff, like going to Texas state parks around the area, fishing, spinning that there, camping out, doing some catching cooks, doing some survival challenges, stuff like that. So if y'all want to see some videos like that, please let me know in the comments below. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of teasing y'all back here behind me because it is all finished and built and it's kind of there and y'all kind of can't see it. You can kind of get an idea of what it might be, but not really. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out, guys. I think it looks fantastic. I think for going out and camping, this is going to help me a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And I'm really happy with it. I think it's really cool. I'm really kind of surprised that I was able to build it and make it work and look as good as it does. But guys, enough talking. I know y'all want me to shut up and just play the video. So let's get in the build. Really hope y'all enjoy. Love you guys. Hey, how's it going all you real people? Welcome back to the channel. As y'all can obviously tell, we are not going to be doing any fishing today, but instead have another really cool side project I've been wanting to do for a long, long time now. It's probably been going on about three, four months ever since I saw it on YouTube and other people doing it in their Jeeps. I was like, I got to have that. That is just so freaking cool. I have to have that. And this is the only plywood I could find at Lowe's that fit in the Jeep. But not bad everyone's talking how the price of wood's gone up and for those two giant pieces of plywood uh two feet by four feet and about two inches thick 46 bucks not bad that's yeah i don't know if y'all can see it it'll focus focus there you go you can kind of see it yeah 46 bucks anyway not bad price so what it's gonna be is it's gonna be like a cubby system it's gonna go right here it's gonna be about probably about this tall and it's gonna be pull out drawers and the drawers will have like a uh, section for like a camping stove. So when you're out, you know, camping in the woods, or whatever, or at a lake, you got a pull out stove. That'd be really cool. And on this side, I have a little storage space. And one thing I noticed, I have a 12 volt plug in right here on my Jeep. So I'm also thinking maybe like a 12 volt freezer or something. So that way when you're spending like a whole weekend out there, you don't have to constantly go and buy ice by ice. Cause that's a dollar $52 every time you buy ice, which isn't horrible, but but you can just plug it in the side of your Jeep and not have to worry about the ice. That'll save you money in the long run. So that's what we're gonna be working on today, guys. I'm really hoping it turns out good. Uh, the last build that I did, y'all seem to really like, so I might try to do more builds and stuff like that. Cool little do-it-yourself stuff at home. But uh, enough talking, guys. Let me get the tools ready. Actually, first, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this Jeep because it is very, very dirty from all the fishing and stuff like that. So probably we're gonna vacuum this out first and then start the build. So let me grab the vacuum and we'll start cleaning.
All right, guys, and we're back. I put my shirt back on. Sorry, it just got so hot there for a minute. I literally thought I was gonna die. And okay, the trash man coming. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying was, is I finally put my shirt back on. I thought I was about to die. It just got so hot, even in the shade. You know, there's no escaping the heat here in Texas. But this is what we got. We uh, got the drawer put together. I um, originally cut off 10 inches on these sides. I meant to cut out 11 because I wanted just that extra inch of height. But you know what? After looking at it, I really think 10 inches will be more than enough for what I'm using this for. Now, originally, I was going to put, you know, the, uh, let me turn around. I was going to put the uh, pull out uh, stove slash sink slash cooking area right here. But I did not think about this. This is like a hump for the hydraulics for the door right here. So I didn't think about that, but that's okay. This will be used for storage and like storing just, I guess, uh, cooking stuff, camping stuff, whatever need be right here. And then on the other side is where the pull out stove, I mean, pull out oven and everything else will go right here. And I think that is going to be perfect because you're going to pull it out and it's going to probably stop about right here, stove, and then out right here, sink. So it is going to be awesome. I'm excited. I'm really happy with it. I got really, really lucky. I found these extra pieces because y'all are going to laugh at this. This is pretty fun. This is actually extra pieces of wood I found out in, um, oh no, hold on. Technical difficulty, guys. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, these pieces right here actually be, used to be uh, some artwork I made way back in like grade school. Bunch of uh, hippie signs, and I think it wrote every little thing is gonna be all right. But I got really lucky that I found these because these are going to add really good support for the top and bottom and sturdy very very sturdy so i'm happy with it uh i had to get some scrap wood to uh, bring it off the ground a little bit so that way this doesn't interfere with the door and the sliding of the drawers and all that y'all know who that is but yeah so far this is what we got i'm still trying to decide whether or not to try to finish this today and go back to lowe's and get some uh slides for drawers rolling slides, whatever they're called, or just go inside and cool down and call it a day because it is beating hot, but I really, really want to get this done. But already, guys, I am so happy with how that looks. Really, really happy. Once again, sorry, I stopped recording. I had to take my shirt off and had to get this done, but we did it. Step one complete, building the frame, and it looks great. I'm so happy, too, that my seats can come up because I was so worried earlier that the seats were not going to be able to shut because they're kind of at an angle and that's right there so it doesn't want to shut very good but listen to the click there it goes yeah it's in so perfect measurements if I might say so myself very good very nice guys now we're on day two of the build it is the next day it's actually a little bit cooler today so it is perfect last time y'all saw us we had the box built they all sturdy the box it kind of squeaks right now and it is killing me because i hate that sound it's squeaking on that plastic in the back of the seat but as we move on we'll, we'll solve that squeaking issue don't you worry but uh, just a minute ago i installed these industrial like heavy duty rails right here, here let me take y'all over there so y'all can see a little bit better but uh, yeah, these are the uh, heavy duty rails, hold up to 100 pounds. I got these at Lowe's, they were about $20 for 20 inches. And it goes all the way to the back, which is perfect. So next we're gonna start building the kind of hollow box that's gonna go in here. And then under that is gonna be the platform where the grill is gonna go. So we're gonna get started on that right now. So let's do it. So we're going to need a board that's about one foot seven and a half inches long and about 21 inches deep. Okay, so 19 inches across, 21 inches deep. Okay, so we need 19 inches across, 21 inches deep. 
Let's cut that. So here's the box, and then, ah, look at there, slides right in, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna go put the rails on the sides here, put it on. One thing I found, and probably most of y'all that build already know this, but I never did, is that when you put it on slide rails, make sure the end touches the very end back here, or else it will not close flush, and it will not be flat, and it will look like crap. Found that out the hard way. All right, now let's get to screwing. Okay, so long story short, to kind of keep this a budget build, I didn't want to go back to Lowe's and buy a whole other thing of plywood for $30 or $21, whatever it was. So I went over there and found some wood and I kind of built one. See? Cool little platform wood. It's relatively flush. There's a little cracks here and there, but uh, nothing some wood glue, glue can't fix. And uh, slide rails are already put on. That way I don't have to record me fighting with that again for y'all because I know y'all love that so much but this is going to be the board that's going to hold the grill maybe I really hope it's long enough but it looked great so we're going to put this on now okay now that I uh, fixed the rails they were it was sticking out a little bit inside the box so now that it's fixed now we can put it on
that one was so much easier. So much easier. <laughs> but here is the finished product. Oh, oh I hate that squeaking. Oh. But here's the finished product. Bam. We're about to start the painting process. I'm thinking I'm gonna do just a straight black, basic black, easy peasy. I don't feel like running back to Lowe's and spending more money on paint that really doesn't matter. But I know for sure I got some black paint and I'm pretty sure I got some truck bed liner stuff. I don't know. So we might put that on the top. I don't know. What do y'all think? Leave in the comments. But I'm really happy with the way this turns out. I really am. Um, the weight in the back will be held down probably from... Uh, I got some paracord. I got some bungee cords. And I'm also going to put a cooler on top of it because like I told y'all, I'm wanting to do it like a 12 volt cooler to go back here because I have the cigarette lug plug in right there so I'll just sit right on top of here adding plenty of weight to it so that will go away cuz oh but yes 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 it looks great now this drawer I still know what I'm gonna do with it because this thing right here is in the way of a drawer so I might just extend it out and have it like right here or something and then just make it like a little storage space for food supplies uh stuff that, that the jeep needs uh jumper cables uh tire pressure charger you know etc 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 and then all my camping stuff is going to go on top of it so my tent my uh tarp cooler everything like that and then hopefully eventually down the line i'll make a flat platform that will go all the way across so you'll fold the back seats down you push the front seats up and it'll kind of like rest right there i think i measured it and it's close to six feet all the way across which i'm 510 so two inches of leg room man and try not to die in the process i am very grateful today we actually have a really really nice breeze here in texas and it feels great but every now and then there'll be like no breeze and the sun will come out from behind the clouds and just scorch you. So we're gonna have to do this in intervals. But I really, really want to get this done today for y'all. So let's make it happen, guys. But first, I think it's time for a sweet tea break. What you doing, Hannibal? What you doing, Bubbles? Oh, oh yes, it is in a Brookshire's cup, but believe me, this is Chicken Express Sweet Tea. If y'all live in Texas, y'all know exactly what time it is. Ah, oh. so sweet. I can taste the diabetes. Ah. All right, enough of that. I'm gonna get too comfortable. Let's get back out here and finish this camping box. I'm blind. All right, guys. So we finally have the box put together, and it looks great. It looks really, really good. I'm really, really happy. I almost want to say surprised I was able to pull this off because all it started with was a cool idea and something I saw off the internet and I was like, I gotta have that because it will make my life so much easier. And look at it, it it's just so freaking cool. I am really, really happy with the way it looks. But now we're about to paint it all black I know a lot of y'all are going to say, just keep the rustic wood look. The wood looks good. The wood looks really good. And yes, it does. Oh, wait, hold up. Y'all want to see something satisfying? Hold on. Hold on. Y'all ready for this? Hold on, hold on. Ah, so satisfying. <laughs> oh, I just had to. <laughs> I love that. So satisfying. Just take it off so smooth like that. Oh, it's great. But yes, the box. The box. It's time to paint it. Let's see what paint we got. Hold on. What do y'all think of that? All black truck coat coating. Do I have anything else? Ugh. Nope, that's empty. Ugh. I don't want to do it all. Mm. Guys, sad news. I might have to go to Lowe's. And I really don't want to. Because that's like another 10 bucks for paint. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Oh well, it is what it is. Let's uh, I'm gonna try to run to the back, see if I can find anything in the storage building real quick before I make that leap. But uh, one second, be right back. Woo. Got a little hot there, that sun came out full force, let me tell you what, so I didn't get to completely finish painting everything and I went through two cans. Uh, for the majority of it, I did spray everything. Um, I think the top of the box I am going to do in the truck bed liner dirt coating, so we're going to do that in just a minute. First, we're going to let all this black paint uh, dry off, so we'll be right back in about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe sooner, depends on the sun. But uh, guys, it's looking so good. Sorry for sweating on camera, but it is hot. But I'm excited. Alright, so another thing I forgot to mention was these type of slides I use for these drawers. Now, I did say they were heavy duty, but I didn't say exactly what they are. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name for y'all, but uh, that's what the name is. Uh, they are heavy duty um, slides. It says full extension slides up to 100 pounds, so heavy duty. Really good. Uh, they're not like other slides, especially the cheap drawer slides that have like the cheap metal with the little uh, roller pulleys. It's nothing like that. The, uh, the system is actually made out of ball bearings, which guides it way more smoother and is way more heavy duty. So that's why I got these. And in my opinion, if you're making anything heavy duty or is gonna have uh, at least you know 50 pounds on it, I would definitely say go with uh, you know this brand right here. You can get them at Lowe's, $20, 20 inches. I say they're definitely worth it because in the long run they're gonna hold up for a long, long time, and you're not gonna have to replace them over and over and over. So I'd say definitely worth the money. So now that the entire box has been painted, uh, like I said, I did run out of paint, so it's not completely finished, but y'all will get the gist of what it's supposed to look like, how it performs, and everything like that. So let me put it back in the car for you now it's painted. So let's do that. Bam, finally, there we go. <laughs> so, these slides are a pain in the butt to get them on, but once you get them on, they aren't coming off.
<sighs> Alright, but there we go guys. There is the I don't know what you call this, the pull-out kitchen for a Jeep or SUV. You can really make it for anything. I just seen a lot of people make it for the Jeep and then they go overlanding or camping, so had to have it of course. And here you go. Perfect. Now, one, one thing I do want to say is, do y'all know how much people charge online for these? I mean, sure, you know, they're made out of like metal and iron and stainless steel and all that, and they look so much better, but they are charging up to a thousand dollars for those pre-made to fit in your vehicle. That is crazy. And to think I spent probably around a hundred dollars because first trip y'all saw, that was about $46 for the two pieces of plywood. And then we got two pairs of the slot, the heavy duty slides, that was 20 bucks a piece, that's 40, so we're already up to 86. And then I had to go back and get another piece of plywood, which is another 20, so that's about 106. And then everything else I used around here was extra scrap pieces of wood for this piece right here to hold the grill. The screws I already had. Uh, the Coleman grill I did have to go buy, I did not have one already. I have a, uh, it's kind of a big portable grill that would not fit in here and I wanted something that was very portable and easy to use. So when I got the Coleman, I got this from Walmart for $43. So all in all, I spent probably around $150, maybe even slightly under $150. I don't know, I'll drop the math over here for y'all so y'all can see, but yes. A very budget build, $150 and you get a full pull out camping kitchen that you can store and still have plenty of space back here so if you go grocery shopping or anything like that you still have space to put on top of this platform and it's very heavy so it's going to support anything you put on it from a heavy tent to maybe even a portable generator to a canopy to go to the beach anything like that this will definitely definitely hold it yes i will install drawer install uh you know a lid there you go a lid drawer door whatever you want to call it <laughs> But yes, I will eventually install that and then over here on this side um, I don't know if y'all can see but this little piece right here To the uh, the trunk of the Jeep has a little extension out for where the hydraulics are for the door So that kind of you know impedes on the space for this door on this side What I'll probably do is just make it extend it out to right here and then probably make it for storage for like um, extra camping stuff uh, extra propane food uh, fire starters, etc., etc., etc. Pretty much, you know, whatever I want, I can put in here. So this will be my extra storage space. So got my cooking space on this side for my cooler, my cooking, my vegetables, my meats, and then grilling it right here. And then on this side, I'll have my storage for everything. So guys, the possibilities are endless when you build something like this. So if you like going outdoors, or you like going camping, or you're just on the move all the time and you need something to hold your stuff more than what it already does i would definitely recommend going out and building you one of these i really hope this video really inspired y'all to probably go out and try to save some room and build one of these guys if you like overlanding if you like camping if you like fishing you know this will hold anything even your tackle but guys i love y'all i really hope you enjoyed the video if y'all like me doing these build videos and you want to see more and more of stuff like this please let me know in the comments below i love you guys y'all keep it real i'll catch y'all on the next one peace